Good morning, everybody. Monday has arrived again. Here we are. No idea what the plans are for today yet. No idea. The plans are to go trucking, and that's all we know. So let's just wait and see. It's going to be a fun day, though. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like the video, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. If you want to know more about me, down below in the description of all my videos, everything there you need to know about me. I also want to point out that uh, tomorrow for you guys, April 12th, it's a Tuesday, from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., I'm going to be in Ildeshane for a recruitment expo. Ildeshane is a small town southeast of Winnipeg, so if you're from the Winnipeg area, you're from the Manitoba area, anywheres, and you want to come and hang out, come say hi, maybe talk to some of our recruiters about making the move over to Keystone, come and join us. Okay, it's tomorrow at the IDC, uh, at the IDC Center, Ildeshane Center. I'll share more uh, later in this vlog, but we're going to be there. It'd be great to see you. I got us hooked up to a big old box, 5172B. Gonna be doing some gravy work this morning. Gotta bring a van load into Winnipeg. Not much going on on the deck side of things. Mondays are usually, well, sometimes a little slower. That's okay with me, I can swing some doors. Don't forget, very important, follow the directions, look up. There we go. Pre-trip is complete. I'm just kidding. Look up here is to remind everybody to make sure that uh, top of the trailer is latched properly. Sometimes those two latches, uh, they, they don't go properly. And if you don't look up and realize that you're going down the road with a partially open trailer door and that's not good. I don't, I don't think that's good. I don't know. I just wouldn't do it. We have a bolt seal on here. So we've got to make sure we have our bolt cutters with us and that they work and that they're not rusted together because I haven't used them in forever because I'm a deck driver. <laughs> Hazards are working. I've already checked tires are all full of air. She's dirty, but the truck's clean at least. Spent some time yesterday cleaning her up a little bit. Didn't do any polishing this weekend. We were pretty busy this weekend, but uh, hopefully next weekend I can start on those tanks. I'm waiting for some, uh, some bull snot to come in that'll help me with that. There's a new product coming from Bolsonaro very soon, uh, specifically for polishing aluminum, like aluminum fuel tanks. So I'm going to give it a shot when they arrive here. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully they'll be here by next weekend, but eh, whenever they come, there's lots of other projects I can take care of cleaning this truck up until then. But the product, he's told me, is going to work wonders and just blow my mind that we can get these tanks shining in maybe, maybe one, one afternoon. We'll see how quick I am at it, but uh, I'm confident that the product is going to be pretty cool. Uh, he's told me all about it. It's not available for sale yet anywhere in the U.S. or Canada. It's going to be coming soon. I think it's in January next year. But uh, we're going to give it a little test run and show you what she can do. So that should be coming in the next week or two. For today, we're just going to pull this old box. Oh yeah, i got to check to see if I have my box, uh, my bolt cutters. Don't want to show up there and not be able to open the trailer, right? Shut the truck off now. I was just, uh, I had it open to build up the air pressure. So I can check that out. Thought I had them back here. Oh, I do. They're back here. First, I've got my, uh, got to get the visible out of the way. Got to get my, uh, waxable out of the way. Then I got to get my, uh, greasable out of the way. Oh, and my uh, my fix-it stick. This stick that some call a crowbar will fix anything. It can fix most of the world's problems with just a good whack from one of these. And that's a fact. That's proven. I see them here. I just don't know if I can get them out from here. How am I going to get them out of here? I might have to get them out from over there. Back here. There's not much room in here. Well, if one of you wanted to hear my air horn, I'm gonna honk at my coworker going past me here. <laughs> he smiled because who doesn't smile when you hear an air horn? I know I always do. Oh, I got him. One second. 
What's going on here? Thought I heard something break. Oh, I broke the handles a little bit. That's what happened there. That's what happens when you don't use a tool for a long time. Make sure that they work. Okay. Well, looks like they still work. Should be good. We're just gonna put you down there like that. I didn't break my vacuum cleaner, did I? I don't get it. It does that every time. Whenever I turn my vacuum cleaner on, it just sprays dust everywhere. Isn't it supposed to do the opposite? south perimeter highway that goes around Winnipeg. We're headed west. The load I'm pulling came from Simcoe, Ontario. I think that's out in southern Ontario. And I'm just taking it the last leg of the trip. The highway driver obviously just brought it to our yard. And that's where I step in. He can go home, reset his logbook, spend some time with his family. I'll go deliver it. It shouldn't take too long, but I've never actually uh, brought a van trailer for a delivery to this location. I have picked up deck loads there before. So I don't even know where their dock is. I'm gonna have to figure it out. Come on, you can do it. It's Monday morning, rise and shine. Work her hard first thing. My docks are around the back here somewhere. Receiving that way. I don't think they use these train tracks anymore. Not very often anyway. Huh. I'm gonna drive right on them. I'm a train now. I've always wanted to drive a train. Who knew today would be the day. Guess I don't have to be going so slow. Look at us go, eh? Huh. Too bad I don't have train horns on the truck. Quack. But I could really feel like a train conductor. That's a red roof. Huh. See something new every day. So they brought me my paperwork, told me I'm empty. So I'll just go and double check that before I leave. I have to close the doors anyways. Man, vans are so much easier than decks. <laughs> All right. Okay, it'll need a little sweep out, but uh, we're empty. Good. Now, this is why we gotta look up. We gotta make sure that the, the top latches in up there. One second. They need me to go anywhere else they'll uh they'll let me know i remembered to clean this back window today at least so i really doubt they use these tracks anymore I don't think so. There's a train track that runs over there, and this was probably used at one point to bring train cars in here to load them, and then they put them back out onto the track. Who knows, maybe they do still use it sometimes. 
Because I know I've been here many times before and I've seen the train, like loading train cars. Uh, but I think they got a new entry point around over here. Or no, yeah, the tracks still go through here. There's just a big pile of snow on it. Maybe I did see them go through here on, through this gate. You see the tracks still go through there and then they continue on over there. And then they meet up with the main line there. And that's the line that goes through the industrial zone here. I don't know, I'm not a train guy, so maybe some of you train guys can tell me what's going on there. Why would that be covered in snow? It really doesn't look like it's been used much. There's also train tracks over here. These ones get used more because they load up big machinery here. See, this one still gets used. It goes right into their building over there and out here. So they can load trains right in their building. It's gotta be pretty handy some days. Is this guy gonna, do you see me there? If I go behind him? I'm going for it. Hope he's looking. Oh yeah, he sees me, okay. I gotta go around a very tight corner here to get back onto Pembina Highway. This is always a fun one because I've gotta pull myself all the way to the left here to make the corner to the right. And if anybody wants to come down this road, well now I'm in their lane, right? And then they get all confused and honk at me and sometimes uh, uh, give me very special waves with one finger. One finger salutes. I've been saluted many times at this corner before. So I've gotta be all the way on the left here, otherwise my trailer's gonna take out that uh, crosswalk pole, right? And you gotta stick your nose almost out into traffic, almost! And we got no traffic, wow. What are the chances of that? Come on, okay. And you take the whole road, don't hit that pole. And you watch your trailer, don't hit that pole. Lots of room. And then I just stay in the center lane until I'm out of the city. Any of you train conductors or train engineers? Do you ever come into Winnipeg with your train? Do you hit stuff often? That's one of my biggest questions is, do trains hit like wildlife and like trucks that are stuck on the tracks and cars and how often does that happen? Figured I'd ask. Okay, I've hooked onto a new trailer here. We're gonna get this trailer ready for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I'm going up to Arburg with a van trailer. It's gonna be gravy day. I know, right? So I'm getting it ready today so that I don't have to do it in the morning. And then we can just book her straight on up there first thing. Usually I pull a roll tight up there, right? For some reason they want a van trailer. I'm not arguing. You want a van trailer? I'll be your man. Little box up there, I'll swing open those doors for you like a super trucker. Like a boss super trucker. I can swing some doors, I'll swing doors all day. Not too sure what I'm picking up yet. I didn't even like I knew that they have band brake, I just I've never seen what they put in there. Oh boy, this is tight. Am I gonna be able to get out of here? The yard is really full today.
to be ready to go for 6.30. All right. So we came to the dog park, or better known as the mud park. The mud pit. The mud pit. This is going to be fun. We're, we're driving up here and we're wondering, wow, there's like nobody here. Wonder why. Stay, stay. Let me put your collars on first. You're not second just because you're so pushy. You got diesel? You want to sure. take diesel? Come on, diesel. Sweet. Chevy. Stay. Alright. You weren't so pushy, I would have let you in first. Wait. You ready? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Close the door first. Okay. Fun. Chevy, come here. Hey, hey, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, wait, 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 wait. All right, boys. <laughs> oh boy. Come on, Chev. I don't want to get my paws dirty. Come on, Chev. He doesn't like the mud. Diesel's just like yes. Come on, Chev. Let's bring you guys over here where it's not so muddy. Wow, this is just terrible. Look at this. Oh my, I don't know how to get over there. And that's all mud too. Just not as mud. Well, got my waterproof work shoes on. I'm give it a test. Oh yeah, they put that in, that's new. Oh, and that's new too. Got a little, uh. Yeah. Cool. Picnic tables. I think those are new. Diesel, take a look at this. Diesel. Nope. We got a pooper. Clean up on aisle two. Chevy, we're making a skin puppy. Your mom's gonna make a skin puppy. Yeah. No, we're not naming a diesel before you say anything. I made a friend today. His name's Kevin. You bullied Kevin. We were at the dog park today, and there was this other golden retriever there, like purebred, and eight months old. Just a baby. A beautiful dog, and Diesel wouldn't stop bullying him. Yeah, you were kind of mean, buddy. I was not proud. I was... Chevy is good friends with him, though. Yeah, Chevy's good friends with him. For some reason, Diesel didn't like him. He wouldn't, like, attack him, but he would, like, constantly like, corner him and just hold him in a corner. And growl. And then like, growl yeah. at him and pounce at him and, like... I don't know. Kevin was intact had not yet been fixed so maybe diesel was a little bit uh, maybe he had testicle envy yeah testicle envy was he more of a man than you kevin <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
His name was actually Kevin. He was a golden retriever. His name was Kevin. He was beautiful. He was such a good boy. <laughs> right? Because all goldens are good boys, right? Mm -hmm. Chevy made a couple German Shepherd friends and stole a stick from them. There was yeah. a big competition over the stick. Yeah. Chevy did not like losing. He's a mm -hmm. sore loser. <laughs> He's a sore loser. <laughs>